This is a brief animation about depression and negative biases. Major depression is a complex psychiatric condition and one of the leading causes of disability worldwide. Depression is associated with persistent sadness and low mood and diminished interest in things which patients find previously enjoyable. Approximately 1 in 5 people experience depression sometime in their lives and some people described as living with a black dog. Cognitive theories dating back to the 1970s highlight that a negative view of the self, a negative view of the world, and a negative view of the future will lead to symptoms of depression. This is known as the cognitive triad. Having a pessimistic outlook into the future eventually leads to negative affective biases. This would be the opposite of wearing rose-tinted glasses. People who have negative biases are influenced by negative events more strongly than positive events and there is a strong connection between these negative biases and symptoms of depression. However, not much is known about why some people develop negative biases in the first place. In order to understand that, we designed a learning experiment in which people experience negative and positive outcomes similar to these happy and sad smileys left and right. In the initial part of the experiment, both the negative and the positive outcomes had a structure which was easier to detect. For example, I can see that the right side of the screen has more smiley faces more frequently. This makes them more informative about the future state of the environment such that I would expect to see more smiley faces on that side of the screen. In a similar fashion, we thought that maybe the reason why some people have negative biases is that because they think negative events they experience are more informative about what lies ahead. In order to test this scientifically, we change these environments without signaling these changes to the participants. For example, after a while, one can start to feel that the sad smileys are appearing on both sides of the screen rather randomly. This means that in this kind of environment, negative outcomes would not have a predictive value, and ideally people should stick with positive outcomes which continue to have a clearer structure. Studying human learning behavior in these kind of environments help us to understand that even people who never experience depression can develop negative biases as a logical response if the negative things in the environment are more informative to help us make better sense of the world. We demonstrated this process in our published work that some people would develop negative biases if they attribute more value than necessary to negative things which may not be informative of what lies ahead. For example, some people are easily let down by small annoyances, whereas others ignore discouraging remarks and go on to win an important prize in their profession later in life. <laughs> Luckily, the human brain is very malleable and adaptive, so it is also possible to get rid of these negative biases by changing the game environment. While our participants were playing these games, we also recorded the changes in their pupil size with an eye tracking device. This procedure is known as pupillometry and the eye tracker records the changes in participant pupil size through the reflection on a plexiglass while the participants are playing this game. This procedure helps us to infer the firing rate of central neuropnephrine neurons. This link is based on previous electrophysiologist studies suggesting a close relationship between pupil size and the activity of these neurons. We found that the activity of the central neuropnephrine system may be critical in guiding how much attention one should pay to negative events happening around us. Our findings suggest that antidepressant medication acting selectively on the central neuropnephrine system, also known as selective norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, may be effective in attenuating negative biases in patients with major depression. This is an idea that we are planning to test in our future studies. Thank you very much for watching and for more reading, please see the links in the video description below.